Yo, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be doing some more of the Doki Hogushi playthrough. I'm actually really quite excited for today because, yeah, this is going to be the beginning. This is going to be the beginning of when shit really starts to get interesting because, um, you know, Tom Moyer has been, let's just say, notified. She read about, you know, the newspaper incident about one of the suspects of, um, well, not really one of the suspects, but one of the people that was involved in the, you know, school attack that then I did. Yeah, them being killed. She knows about it now. The story is going to fucking change, let's just say that. Yeah. I'll tell you what's really annoying. I'm not really going to have much time to play today. I'm only going to be able to do like half of a chapter because, you know, I've got an exam tomorrow. So, yeah, fun. That's all I can say. Fun. Right, so, um, yeah, I'm actually quite excited to play this though. So, um, let's see. So, oh yeah, I forgot it was October. This is the, f this may actually be Psychology. I get that that exists, but like, and Haji Sadashi, I suppose, if you count that as a story, but one of the first Higadashi stories we've played that isn't in June. Oh, Minai-san! Oh, Minai-san. Thank you for your service. Thank you too. Oh, long time no see, Kaji-kun. Have you been well? Of course, thanks to you. All thanks to you. Hang on a second, is this some sort of... Oh, a young, familiar-looking officer standing guard by the entrance answered her in a booming voice as he saluted her. Yeah, it looks like somebody that has a lot of... Respect. Oh, he had just graduated from the police academy last spring and still retained his student like innocence. Hmm, finding that innocence was heartwarming. Tomoe um, gave him a pat on the shoulder and said, Do your best before passing through the automatic door on the entrance. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, it looks like Tomoe has definitely been a good influence in this person. Um, oh, as soon as she stepped her inside, the uniquely old fashioned atmosphere tingled down. Hasn't changed a bit. Tasting the familiar air for work, old. Work old place. Oh, yes. Old workplace after such a long time brought a smile to our face. Oh, she's going to Ibaraki. Interesting. Yeah, of course. Only three months have passed since he transferred to the National Police Agency, so it couldn't have changed that much. Whoops, can't do that. Don't mind return to my senses after getting lost in her nostalgia. She walked over to the information desk and said, Excuse me, to the female police receptionist. Unfortunately, it was a face she didn't recognise her. Tomoe pulled, had to um, pull out a police badge to identify herself. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, that must actually be. I mean, it's obviously something they can do. Just a little bit inconvenient, you know? That's actually be quite cool, just going back to your old workplace. I mean, I can't exactly say I'd like to do that with my school when I've left, but yeah. <laughs> Fucking hate my school. I'm Minai from the Kakiuchi Station. Oh. Honjo. <laughs> I have a meeting with the Section Chief of the First in Investigation Division, Honjo-san. Would you mind contacting him? So we have Otobe Akira. And uh, Otobe Akira. Yeah, Otobe Akira, of course. Um, and then Todo Akira. We have two people with the name Akira. Now we have Hojo, Satoko, Satoshi, Tepe, Tamae. And now we have Honjo. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> the receptionist um, escorted her to one of the conference rooms where she waited for a few minutes. Just as she was about to put her hand on the tea served for her, she heard footsteps behind the beyond the door. Once the door slid open, an old detective emerged. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this guy looks nice. <laughs> looks. I can't exactly see his face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you didn't have to Yeah, you didn't have to kill me from the front window. You could have just come straight to the first division office. Of course he could have. <laughs> no, I didn't come here today to discuss official business. Oh, that's cool. I'll pay everyone a visit on another day and give them a proper greeting after things have calmed down. Oh, did you bring you a little something? A little something? Oh, it's just that Tom was sat down in the seat across from the detective with two bottles in hand and presented them for second chief Honjo. 
it, it was first class sake. Purchase and cartridge. Jesus Christ, how much? Hang on a second. But how much does first class sake cost? Oh, that's actually not as bad as I thought. Like twenty four quid is the highest price I'm seeing. Forty five quid. What the fuck? I've literally seen an alcohol bottle for like. 400 quid once it's ridiculous why would you buy that i'm gonna get this like a simple status but like still, it's just sad wow, thanks a lot <laughs> i would so love to work with somebody like this this stuff is hard to get your hands on so i'm through it to accept it oh, right. i recall you um mentioning once before that you wanted to drink some honjo -san. Oh my god, I two bottles before I... That's actually really quite cool. Oh my God, yeah, yeah. Have a drink together. <laughs> Can't drink on duty. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh 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 well, it hasn't been um, that long since we all celebrated the big farewell party, so I'd be, be a bit embarrassed to jump and face it. <laughs> That's so funny. So, yeah, obviously, they've... I mean, it's just really quite weird. It's like, I don't know, for example, I don't know, having a funeral and then the person that you've sort of... I mean, obviously, it's really different, but, like, I suppose it kind of has the same sort of proportion because, like, funeral people were leaving life, obviously, and that's, you know, commemorating the loss and everything, but, um, I suppose this, they're leaving the job, so they are technically leaving the lives of the police officers that are never going to see her again. I don't know, it's just ridiculous and shit logic. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, my point is that Tomoe is really liked, and I think that's really quite ah, good. Ah, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Oh my god, you were crying at our last meeting. Weren't ya, Tomoe chan? No, 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 I wasn't. <laughs> Forget about that. It was such an embarrassing note to leave on. She went back to the farewell party and shook her red, a red face while waving her hands around. And after seeing that hold and jaw, that's an even bigger gah -ha -ha laugh. Fair enough. Yes. Anyway, rumors are having a lot of success. Mm. Mm. Oh, Hell yeah, she's doing brilliant, like. Yeah, yeah, I'd expect no less from somebody chosen to be part of the elite recommended group. That's really quite nice. Our time together was short, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop enough of that. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, he sounds like a really nice man. Definitely somebody that, you know, informs people and develops them. I haven't forgotten everything I've learned from you, Honjo san, and I've been able to apply that knowledge in the field. That's really good. <laughs> Don't be so humble. Oh my god, wow. I've never had a subordinate as worth teaching as you, Tomoe chan. Oh, that's really good. And that's actually really interesting. I bet you anything that Yamaoki, you know, his advice to Tomoe, that would have actually had a big impact on, you know, how she would have had here. The thing about a lot of the characters in Higurashi, they have really shit backgrounds, but they have people around them that are just so fucking nice and thoughtful and caring. <laughs> like, most of the time it's the opposite way around. Good good background shit people around you, really. Or at least that's what I find in, like, real life. Like, if you have a good background.
That really is insane. He's been doing it for a long time, evidently. The non-career path, what? Basically, he's doing it part-time. He had a strong Ibaraki accent thanks to his local heritage. Ah, oh, right, and he was intensely emotional. Oh, so the boy had many conflicts with him during that time together. Oh, that's a nightmare. But even so, after accompanying him during on-site investigations and hearing pieces of his stories at investigation meetings, she was shocked by the insight and analytical abilities he had gained during his experience. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. He sounds like a person that he really cares about his job and he fucking voices his cares with passion. Oh my god. Don't look at the criminal, look at the crime scene. After saying that, Honjo would grab the out of the data room of the Special Investigation Office, where she was summarizing reports and reviewing evidence and investigation materials, and forced her to visit the actual crime scenes. Oh, that's interesting. Even if it wasn't her actual part of, even if it wasn't if it wasn't her role to actually do so, he would force her to visit the crime the crime scenes just so, you know, she would have more of an idea. That's really, yeah. Yeah, that's actually really quite interesting that Tom Moore is you know, really quite shocked by it. She's definitely gained them as well. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Even after the... Oh, damn. Yeah, interesting, man. Even after the marks and the traces of chalk left by the forensics team had weathered and disappeared. God. Even after the traces of the crime had faded, he spent hours looking over the crime scene, always the to, telling the wire to do the same. God, that is some proper dedication. I mean, I just really wonder what he'd find. But at the same time, some of the criminals have really, really obscure secrets. He would have to spend quite a lot of time to find them. Me good. <laughs> Hang on a second, is this Hataki Yama? Because I know this says Yama. Don't know about this though. Maybe that could be Hataki. But let's be honest, who who else do we have as Yama? With the sound of Yama even. Minai kun, you're part of the first investigate first division special investigation team handling unresolved cases. You understand what that means, right? Hmm. Yeah, and I suppose that is where you find it, the crime scene. That is, if that's that type of criminal. I mean, it's really quite, it would be quite a lot of luck if he was actually found there, but yeah. Oh, it's not like that at all. Hmm. Honjo went on to explain, when it comes to crime scenes, traces of the criminal were the most visible immediately after the incident. Oh yeah, definitely. But on the other hand, investigators often view the scene with a stereotypical prejudice. For example, if a bloody knife is found on the ground, they'll think it was the weapon. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. The wounds and traces left on the corpse can suggest the cause of death. 
As a result, a picture of the culprit can be determined from there, and the suspect can be arrested, charged, and prosecuted based on that information. Jesus. Yeah, in most cases, conventional investigators were able to capture the culprit that way. Yeah, that would be really quite interesting. I mean, if that was the case, then fair enough, but you... Let's just say, for example, before a finger fingerprinting and fingerprint forensics were really quite good, you could easily frame somebody for stuff like that. I mean, if you just got a bloody knife and then, I don't know, bad place, bad time for somebody. Yeah, I don't really think it'd be very good for them because the police would probably think that they've done it even though they haven't and they'd have no way to check because they wouldn't have ways to check the fingerprints on the knife. And, yeah, I suppose just... I suppose the actual... Um, what else is there in terms of evidence? I mean, obviously, there's the blood patterns, I mean. But they probably overlook the fact that the person had no blood on them, just thanks to the fact that the person's dead. I mean, I don't know, if you've killed somebody with a knife, then you can easily do it without getting blood on yourself. But, yeah, maybe it will happen, though. It's just... Sometimes that initial assessment is too hasty and it is impossible to identify the culprit without recognizing the secret or trip behind it. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. After a certain length of time, those unresolved cases are abandoned by headquarters. Oh, and handed off to a steam. Steam? Ah oh, yes. Handed off to a team of special investigators known as continuation detectives. And the special investigators must perform another examination to determine if anything was missed in the original investigation material. Oh right. God, that must be a really quite <laughs> <good idea. laughs> I said, you don't think um, the process of handling unresolved cases is more about settling unfinished business, do you? So, so well, She couldn't deny what you'd said. Oh, he did have right where it hurt. A number of cases, an incident where veteran detectives and forensic investigators desperately scrutinised the case, yet still couldn't identify the culprit. Yeah. Interesting. It was completely impossible for a rookie who knew nothing about investigation to reach a breakthrough simply by reviewing case materials for a while. Yeah, that must actually be a really quite hard career, I mean. The information just must be so hidden and genuinely so difficult to find. Deep down, Tomoya thought that, so she believed that investigating unresolved cases was a little more than rearranging files. Oh my god, yeah. God, yes, I think that is very true. <laughs> Mm. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. The first investigation division doesn't need a simple investigation material reorganization. Mm. The um, special investigator is what Western criminal psychology analysts refer to as a profiler. Profiler? Profiler? Huh? Yeah, yeah, fair. That's why I bring it to the crime scenes. Bonjour, um, Bonjour said that you can't feel the atmosphere of the incident without probing the crime scene. Hmm, interesting, yeah. There will always be some trace of the culprit left at the crime scene. If the crime is a murder, doubly so- Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. For example, the criminal's footprints, even if they don't remain in so simple a form. Yeah, I suppose so. Where did the culprit go before the crime? Yeah, and how did he get away after the crime? Yeah, that's a really good question, yeah. The method? The route? 
By examining these items one by one, you can identify what psychological state the couple was in. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah. And for example, in things like... I, I really hate that the only thing I can think of at the moment, the thing that just leaps out to my mind is Tatari Goroshi. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know if you guys have watched Higurashi Abridged, but please watch it if you have. I was the one with Tatari Goroshi, it's actually hilarious. I should do a reaction of Higurashi Ab Oh my god, that'd actually be really quite fun. <laughs> フロハイディング捜査ってのは日本じゃまだほとんど知られてねえ捜査技術だが欧米じゃもう実戦投入されて成果を上げてる。Apparently Crimes have gotten more and more diverse and their techniques more sophisticated. Scary thing is this is 1982, he's saying that. Yeah, so it's only natural for police to adopt these new methods. Yeah, I agree. そのためには何でも味方にでも武器にでもしろ。<笑><笑><笑> He's encouraging her to actually defy authority, and maybe they're not even allowed to go, um, into the crime scene, I don't know. What do people- th I don't really see why that would be the case, so, what do people tend to be more hard-headed, but Hon- Honju- Well, Honju almost said it, but Honju, um, had, um, spent time working on the front line, so he of all people understood urgency, the urgency and impending danger. God. That's insane. So this person could have potentially been alive in fucking World War II. That's ridiculous. God. The one I genuinely wanted to learn from his eagerness and flexible insights. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough, yeah. He really does sound like a, quite an amazing guy. Additionally, Honju. Honjo. Why do I keep on saying Honju? I don't know. Additionally, um, Honjo um, to, uh, to pay careful attention to the people related to the victim after the incident. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, they're key. Has anyone gained some sort of benefit from the victim's death? Yeah. Is anybody exhibiting suspicious movements after the incident? Hmm. In general, these behavioural patterns can't be seen immediately after the incident. They're ashamed that their dark secrets are aware that any misbehaviour would give the police reason to suspect them. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. However, one, once police activity seems to slow down, or when they reach the limit of their patience, yeah, that's when these behaviours manifest, yeah. And since many of these actions can cast suspicion on them, you can often find clues with little careful attention. Yeah. Plus, by finding new ideas and clues this time moves on, you can tell coincidence that on-site investigators have no choice but to wear banners. Yeah. That was the job of the special investigator. That was actually pretty quite interesting because even though the investigation's already happened, you're still going to get the people that, you know, obviously, they remember the significance of what happened at the incident and, um, yeah. They are still going to react to police behaviour. It doesn't matter if the incident was years ago. They're still going to react the same. They're still going to have things to hide. Hmm. 
If you carefully examine the clues, you can always find the answer. I mean, it may be very, very hard to find it, but it is still possible for some. I mean, even like the crime that you would consider perfect, I mean, yeah, you can't find the answers if obviously they are present, but yeah, there are crimes like, for example, I mean, the only ones I can really think of, I think the really good examples of the, you know, for example, Yasuo Sama's cursed deaths. You have a passionate investigator that's been investigating for years, and yet the mountain dogs have done such a good job at actually concealing the crime that, you know, he's never been able to even question them. And the clinic. Mm, yeah, so the detective acting as a special investigator needs to be a talented individual with deep analytical skill and a broad perspective yeah oh my god yeah i really get what he means like i really get what the narrator means just like you know speaking in a blimmin serious manner <laughs> not some clock gathering documents oh god yeah my god yeah for someone forced to focus as focused on improvement as double a harsh reprimand like that was like being splashed with cold water yeah understandable but at the same time it was a pivotal moment to reflect on her pride own pride and inability Without this experience as an special investigator, she would have become an uninspired detective. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. I never to challenge methods of investigation. After that, she memorized and analyzed an unthinkable amount of information related to past cases. Damn. As a result, Don was able to achieve exceptional results. Oh, nice. If not for that, um, she would have never been selected for that recommended group and probably would have gone on to working at some prefetched police station somewhere. Oh. だから、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そ
I don't know. I can't remember what the exact title was for the youth um, occupation where she has to deal with, you know, problem teenagers that may be leading to crime or may have done crime. Who knows? Um, he also thought about Tom White's extra excessively straight-laced conduct and way of thinking and gave her honest, earnest advice on how to rectify it. In that sense, she was blessed with supported superiors, even as far as back as um, her time with the Ibaraki Prefectural Dep Police Department. That's really good, yeah. Oh, I like that. That's what I keep on doing my best without forgetting what brought me here. Please, accept my thanks for your continued guidance, both now and in the future. <laughs> ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
Oh yeah, failure. Hakkenji ni wa sude ni higai sha wa shibou. おそらくは即死だった。被害者のいた病室には遺書らしきものは見当たらなかったけど、自殺と事故死、両面で当たってる。殺人の可能性は事件当時、病室は施錠されている室だった。I don't see who would do it and why as well. Hang on, she's too many. No, show game. Oh, keep them all. Say, no, no, can you hear me? Here, need to hide this time. Human, no, see, no, no. Even after listening to the testimony of several nurses, nobody went in and out of the room after the last time they took his temperature. More hang camera, no, clock, photo, no, 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 外を覗き込もうとか何とかして足を滑らせたか。That was actually really quite weird about you know him never having sort of really heard the information, heard or you know have any reason to think about Oyasuda Sama, and yet in his sleep he was saying Oyasuda Sama. I mean that is just so weird. I really wonder what Hinamizawa syndrome actually you know has in terms of a role there. そのどっちかっていうのが正月の見解だべ。I mean, I just genuinely don't get how much of an idiot you could be to do the second one. But at the same time, people do die idiotic deaths. I mean, there have been some people I've heard that、um, they basically been, you know, social media influencers. They've been filming themselves just walking down the stairs and they lost their footing and fucking died. I heard there was one case where some pretty, I think, it, I think they fell off a cliff because they were filming something or something like that. I don't know, but yeah. But people do die idiotically. That's what I'm trying to say. Is that so? Hmm. I also thought that reasoning sounded valid. There was no doubt that、um, Sopamada Gohe was deeply mentally struck. Oh my god, yeah, 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 fair. Yeah, but the only thing is, he was finally starting to get better. I mean, I think I remember,、um, what was her name?、Uh, Nagashi. Nagashi? No, Nagisa. I really hate it. I've, I've seen this character called Siota Nagisa. So I keep on thinking of her, but it's Ozaki Nagisa. I genuinely hate that they have the same name. So I know like a rom hack level that was based on Shiota, Shiota, and、um, Nagisa. I don't even know who that character is. I know she has blue hair, but like nothing else. Doesn't know that、um, some Roman hardcore hair was dead. Dem- yeah. yeah. Therefore, even though there was a possibility that Paul was an accident, it was far more likely his men. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe his mental instability made him do something really stupid, um, suppress his ability to think rationally, and boom. That may have happened. I don't know, though. It doesn't really sound likely. Plus, the testimony of the nurses and the fact that the tapes didn't reveal anyone suspicious was immutable evidence. Yeah, yeah, fair. However, something doesn't add up. Yeah, yeah, it's actually really interesting. If, if you have, I just don't get why. Why? Hmm. In fact, she was starting to feel a little bit suspicious because the conditions were too consistent. Plus, thinking about it from the victim's point of view, there was clearly a few odd points. Nusta. The day the victim found was a Saturday, right? Why the day in particular? That's actually really quite interesting, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't really know if that'd have any meaning, though. I don't know. I wouldn't really ask that question personally. それはどういう意味だ。私が少し前に
別件で聞き込みをした時に教えてもらったんですが。Something like more what I can I didn't guess it a while ago. 土曜日はこの被害者の少年の女と。Oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, 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 you've definitely got, you've definitely got. 連れる日だったかと思います。She's definitely got a good point. Yeah, every time the victim's female friend, or rather his girlfriend, would travel from a long distance to visit him. From a long distance, yeah. Don't worry about how the police number can flip through it. Don't worry, still, could still remember the content since it was so recent. God, she really is clever. So she was able to find the page easily. Yeah. <laughs> Just as I thought. So, in the case, oh, the Daichi Hakken Shani, Ozaki Nagisa, the Jose to the name of the name. And not only that, look at it, the first person to discover the body was a female student named Ozaki Nagisa. Yeah, and she was dating the victim at his old school. That's actually really quite unbelievable. So Nagisa knows her dinner as well. Hmm, so? Why? Maybe I'm only saying this because I'm a woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that, yeah. But do you think he jumped to his death without meeting her on the day she always comes to visit? Yeah, yeah, understandable. Me neither, actually. I mean, why would you? Firstly, why would you? Um, if you were actually, so it was the, the same day this person was actually um coming to meet him. It just it doesn't really make sense that before dying, why would you not? Why would you not talk to your girlfriend and talk to her about what you're going to do? Doesn't really die on the exact same day, and I think that really points to it potentially being something either caused by no, either caused by mental instability or an accident. But I think it's somewhat likely to be an accident. I don't get why you could possibly have an accident like that. Maybe if we were in a very deluded state, then could be likely. I don't know. It's just so weird, though. It is actually really quite odd that it was done exactly on a Saturday. The driver person to suicide and escape from reality were often accompanied by a desire to share those final thoughts and intentions with someone other than yourself. My god, that is so fucking true. That really is. Yeah. That's really. Yeah, I never really thought about that, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. For example, resentment, apology, despair. Yeah, yeah. Thus, the method and location of death um, can, in many cases, reveal something about the victim's intentions. Yeah. Among the methods of suicide, psychological studies consider jumping a very egocentric method. Hmm. First of all, you can't even imagine how much your body will be destroyed after the impact. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. So when it says egocentric, it really just means you're only focusing on yourself. Because obviously, there are so many things that, you know, will cause disturbance. So, yeah, you're only doing it to end your life. You don't really care about anything around you. And there is a strange sense of elation and freedom that comes from showing that death to others. Hmm. In other words, the emotional motivations include intense despair, twisted exhibitionism. I've never heard of. I mean, obviously, an exhibition. So just to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extravagant behaviour intended to, you know, shine a spotlight on yourself, really, like you're a relic in an exhibition. But I don't think a battered corpse is what we would call a relic. Huh. Date it like 10,000 years back, boom, relic material, but like, not in this case, no way. That's actually really quite interesting. So, yeah, that second reason could potentially that would actually explain like why um this has happened before um Nagisa was actually able to meet him that very day. But at the same time, jumping is instant death. It could just. Be you want to end your life as fast as possible, and you don't really care about 
anything around you, really. I, mean, I don't know, whenever I've thought stuff like that, that's what I've thought. But, you know, I've never really thought about it this deeply, to be honest. Traffic suicide is an act intended to guard witness sympathy for showing you ugly form to the people around you, or to force guilt upon the person who was wronged you. Yeah. いつもの恋人が帰った後の雲が見舞いに来るのを待ってる間に、そこまで独特の感情を持つだろうか。ごめんなさい、フリーが普通に感じる。そこまで独特の感情を持つだろうか。ごめんなさい、フリーが普通に
And the second picture showed the back of her left hand laying hard opened on the asphalt. Most likely we got run into the victim. Oh, interesting. But if it's half opened, that could potentially mean that either it's just the position in which the hand is, I don't know, drawn with the suicide related thing. Or maybe he's actually tried to. Oh my god, the nail in the index victim was covered in blood and peeling off. Jesus. Hmm. Oh, it looks like we're back yeah. here again. Oh, that's right. I was in charge of someone with us. Here are his records. The old nurse named Hirano Ma um, pulled a fire out of I wonder. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's actually really quite interesting. I suppose that could be a good opportunity to get an alibi, but why the fuck would she kill anybody? To be fair, we barely know this, but at the same time, maybe it would happen. I don't know. There's a malfunction in the fire alarm after we mentioned his temperature. So I had to visit everyone to deal with him before going to the station. So, I had to visit before after that, a friend of us came to visit around 4 o'clock, so I scored the to this room. Yeah. I heard from the other detectives that this room was locked. Yeah, that is odd. That is really odd. I thought it was strange because he normally didn't lock his room. I mean, I suppose if you're trying to answer in terms of it being a murder, then, you know, the murderer could have locked the door while, I don't know, he was just really quite stressed, or maybe he was asleep, I don't know, maybe that could be likely. I don't think that is, but, yeah, could be. Don't want to quickly skim through the file's contents by flipping through the pages. It's almost identical to the report summarised in the investigation material. Oh, no. Yeah, I think show me the patient's room. Yes, of course. Right this way. Yeah, and you really see this, you know, insistency on, you know, seeing the crime scenes just totally reflecting her attitude. I mean, she will not go a second investigating. Well, I mean, she will do a little bit of investigation, but she can't investigate without seeing the crime scene. It's really good. So I don't blame her. Holy fuck. Right, his friends was, was the first one to discover him, but she started to panic. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I understand. Well, I had a hard time restraining her. She was most likely confused and unable to accept this as reality. Oh, yeah, yeah, easily. Yeah, it was far too bad in some material from an early adolescent. Early adolescent is a very weird way of referring to a teenager, but works, I suppose. <laughs> so we reported it to the police immediately after the discovery. Then he contacted the doctor in charge of the, the, the centre station. I'm not mistaken about any of that, right? Yes, that is correct. I see. I might not have lost well scribbling it on my story into her notebook. Then she turned her attention towards the window frame of the photo. These scratches were caused by the victim. Yeah, but why did that? That's actually really quite odd, but I mean, I don't know. Because obviously, everything we know about the syndrome, I don't really think. Why were they scratching the. the uh, window when they can scratch their neck. What? Why? What makes me think that they have the syndrome? They don't. Yeah, why would they do that? No, I have. To, I have to stop looking at the syndrome here because it can't be the syndrome. This person does not live in Hinamisawa. Yeah. I really wonder what this could potentially be. Maybe that's just severe stress. Hmm. Fortunately, I have no idea. Perhaps he lost his balance while looking outside and tried to grab the window for him. Yeah, anyway, why are there any bars on the window of this hospital room? I don't mind directly asked about the matter that was bothering her. Hmm. Yeah, it's actually really quite odd that, yeah. The victim was being hospitalized on the top floor! Jesus, I didn't realize it was the top. I mean, it is eight floors up, but yeah, still. So it wouldn't be surprising for his hospital to have them, in consideration for the patient's safety. It is surprising, yeah. Not to mention, the patient's hospitalized in this particular ward were... 
Let me ask another question. What? Wait a second. So they've been diagnosed with psych, you know, psychiatric treatment, and yet they're leaving the doors open. So that means these people can basically, if they're finding it too hard, make sure that nobody's there. Boom! Instant suicide. That's insane. That actually really is quite surprising. But at the same time, the only problem is if they do bar up the windows and make it so that they can't escape, then it could be likely that, um, you know, little exposure to the sunlight is going to make them feel a lot worse. Imagine if this was like, I don't know, can't be, can't be that one as well. Hi, so this. Yes, that's right. So not a me, do I more guy book or a jonga kakera radio in a team. That's why those are the signs so that they can be locked from the outside. So they're not a model in ten lakh balls, no ties up or hold up on I know. Yeah, 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 definitely. In that case, why well, have no measures taken to prevent falling out of the window? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 If I was a little bit more naive, I would be convinced after hearing that that this was murder. That is really quite odd. Yeah, why is that? Sorry, that was an oversight on our part. You are an idiot. Yeah, you are an idiot. Oh my god. Yeah, that is really odd. Yeah, that is really odd. But at the same time, you really think these people? No, I think. I'm sorry, but if you're working as you know a psychiatrist, then you need to consider every possibility. These people see a window open. What the fuck are they going to do if they are in a really bad state? I mean, the temptation is literally right there. That's an excusable. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, yeah. Next time I examine the calendar on the wall beside the bed, do you see colourful characters are printed on it? It looks like it was designed for. Right. <laughs> Did this belong to the victim? Yeah, so they were automatic. No, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. No, it's not exactly someone bought it. I see. She carefully pinched the page to see the next page underneath. It was currently October, so there were two more pages. Ooh. Finally, Don Moy approached the door, pushed the button on the knob, and closed it. There wasn't an normal door where you turn a tab or to lock a door. The lock apparently prevented the outer knob from rotating. So rather than um, looking before closing, the mechanism required the door to be closed before locking. So yeah, the fire alarm went off sometime before the victim was discovered. Oh, you mentioned that the fire alarm went off sometime before the victim was discovered. It's how long ago was it? Do you know approximately which time that happened? Yeah, do you know approximately which time? 確か3時ごろだったと思います。なってからしばらく各所を見て回ったので、3分ほど鳴り続いていたかと。わかりました。ありがとうございます。
Hmm. That's actually really quite interesting. Now. I wonder what she's actually going to be able to draw from this. Ooh. Oh, now we're seeing. Okay, now we are getting to the source. I really wonder what this actually is because this is the thumbnail of the, um, you know, the, I don't really know, not really the thumbnail, the sort of starting page. Uh, this is just really quite color graded to look really quite um, dark and more contrasting. Increased, um, you know, presence of black colors as well. Oh, that's nice. Feeling a little bit of feeling a little bit contrasting to you know temperature at the moment. It's just casually. I don't really know. And to be fair, it is warm for winter times. So I mean, heck, it's literally like. I don't know, it doesn't really say here, but um, yes. Yeah, I mean, sometimes we have like five to ten degrees, even though it's in the middle of January. I mean, it just makes no sense. Oh, yeah, and that is something that I'm really not jealous of, you know, it just being, you know, the aftermath of summer. God, I'm not excited for summer this year. Oh, fuck. The cobblestone pave, um, path glittered in the sunlight, um, scattering blank grains of light from the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think that the cigars have already stopped crying. Oh. You've got to be kidding me, is she in here? The autumn leaves fell down and fluttered right before our eyes. The base of this didn't um, mountain show the mix of vermilion and yellow hues. Mmm, and the leaves of the surrounding trees were just as vividly coloured. If not for the current location. Then we let her outside and looked over the surrounding area. She was currently a short distance um, west of the city centre in a dilapidated cemetery. Right, this can't be. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Don't really understand why this would be. Oh god, so this is um poor hair's grave. Oh. Using the map given to her by the groundskeeper as a guy, she noticed another person near her destination. Moving closer to get a better look, it was the girl she recognised, um was actually Nagisa. Oh. Surprising seeing her there, but yeah, before long, Nagi Sam noted the approaching footsteps and turned toward the wire. Then she unlikely bowed her head before returning her gaze toward the gravestone for her. Yeah. Long time I see. Oh, would it be alright for me to pay him a visit? Oh my god, yeah, of course I know each other because, yeah. Yeah, she's probably really affected. Poor her. Yeah, Nagisa gave no answer to that and simply shuffled her feet so she wasn't standing directly in front of the gravestone. Don't worry, I took that as an affirmation and said thank you. Then sat, um, the... <laughs> Chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums she bought from the local flower shop next, down next to the grave. Hmm, there was already, you know, there was already a beautifully brooming cosmos flowers, isn't there? Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, most lovely place, but whatever, Nagisa herself. Yeah, that was when she was actually... God, that's actually really quite sad. That was the one he was going. She was going to bring to him. Um, in that last visit, the yeah. opportunity. What's that? Yeah. Right. 
Bit of a weird sound. <laughs> Thought I was some sort of scream for a second. I was like, yeah! Something like that, I don't know. Obviously, in Japanese sound, what? I think it is really good that Tomoe is so, I mean, especially in this case, she has such a mutualistic view, um, you know, like, on the victims, with the victims, really. She can really relate to them. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe another thing for me to say, but I wanted them to get better quickly and go back to the way was before. Mm -hmm. Both him and you did. It is really sad that that wasn't fulfilled. I mean, it can't be now. I don't know why I could hear her heavy breath, even though her back was turned. Yeah, obviously, there were several things you wanted to ask Maggie Sarah about regarding this case. However, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I think it's really good that she's, you know, not prioritizing stuff like that here. But at the same time, she's going to get a lot less results if she does that. I don't really know if that's the best thing to do in terms of a work point of view. But in terms of, you know, a morality point of view, way better thing to do. The person most hurt by this incident was Nana. Oh, God, yeah. Nana the Nana Nana like you some. Tell me I wasn't so cool as, as to force that on her just because of that. Yeah, yeah good. I'm sorry for intruding. Anyway, take care. Mm. I'll just say no, they that. So clenched her blouse and her chest um, and fired her eyebrows to endure. あ、そうだね。あの、私はそれを見せないと。うん、ビスタンドを。一回に降りた時には白い布をかぶせられてて病院の人たちに遮られて近づけない。Oh I see the body, but the thing is, I mean, she knows that obviously he's died, but it's just such a horrifying death that that would traumatize her. Seriously, it would. Police carried him away immediately after that, and by the time I saw him, again, he was already dead. Oh my god. Well, I wonder what Tomoe is actually going to say because she she has. Oh, Tomoe thought that that outcome was for the best. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Nothing good would come of showing such a gra drastically warped human form to a child. Agreed, yeah. In fact, Madoka was so scarbuzzing. Jesus. Yeah, oh my god. I mean, Tomoe saw them as well, but like Madoka, she's so fucking young. I can't imagine seeing something like that, you know, her age, fucking 14. I mean, Jesus. Maybe that's why... Yeah, I understand, but I still can't believe it. Oh, yeah, is Gohei-kun really dead? みんなが後で私を殻かおうと嘘ついてるだけじゃないかな。Why? 
この駅にスカイプのホスピトルがもうあったようです。入り口のドアに鍵がかかっているから、窓ガラスを開け、パジャマ姿で。This is the one that he brought the window. Still dressed in his pajamas. Why you mean you're not sorry that? He don't know what he must. You can tell the dreams were scared. It was. It probably happened a little while after the boy had gone into question him. At the time, she was heading into the hospital room in the back of the first floor to meet him, but his parents refused to cooperate, so she was about to leave. And that's what she went there for. When the parents weren't there, she was able to meet him face to face. Of course, he was only able to make small talk, but his pale, worn out appearance was plain to see during the short time together. Could you imagine if it was genuinely something as stupid as that, like a terrible dream? But at the same time, I think you would have to have a lot less control than you know a normal person would have to be able to be that scared by a dream. But at the same time, people are scared, and you know a lot of people, whenever something so extreme happens, they can't really tell the difference between dream and reality. Maybe he was a lucid dreamer. Who knows? I mean, it could be likely, but I don't think it is whatsoever. That's actually really quite surprising. So the parents refuse to cooperate, and yet Nagi's are、um, consenting. Literally makes it so she has the right to investigate this, even if his parents don't allow it. That's really surprising. I suppose it is consent from one person, but at the same time, this person does. I mean, I get this person has a relationship, but what's more important, a lover or a parent? Well, it doesn't really make much sense to me that. でも先先週に病室が1階から8階に移ってすごく喜んでました。Week before, you know, the last one, he was happy. That's really unbelievable. I mean, I really wonder what actually. Maybe he was just really scared of heights. Who knows? But he was so happy when his hospital room was moved from the first floor to the eighth. The week before. ここは景色もいいし、病状が軽くなった人が入るフロアだって。看護師さんから教えてもらったって。I misread that, but oh yeah, that is actually really quite odd. So if he's actually happier about being more up high, he said the view around there was really nice, and the nurse told him that patients were moved to the floor. Um, oh yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. それに最後に会った日には次の週の診断で退院の日がわかるって言ってたんです。Oh, plus last time I saw him, um, he said he was going to learn the date of his discharge after his diagnosis the following week. That's unbelievable. So he would have literally had the end in sight. You know, this really, really long hospital journey that you know he wants to end. He wants to have a life of nineteen star. He wants to continue his own life. So why would he just? Suddenly, you know, end it. It really, really does seem like suicide. So, 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 so Oh, he was really smart, so I was working really hard to get into the place where we wanted to go. Hmm. Yeah. I guess I was trembling while huge tears fell from my eyes. The drops came overflowing down, which is one after another, and no matter how much he. Oh God, that's awful. Yeah, it's understandable. Like, it's like. Well, still, so she looked up and down towards Tomoe, and then. So that's it after all. Dana, no, it's the Tawayashiro-sama's tattoo, なんですか The cousin of Yasuno-sama that Dana mentioned. Huh? Oh, now the investigation is going to become, let's just say, a little bit saucy. 
Oh, so now this is when, you know, Dumbo is actually going to learn about. She is going to be able to say yes to the Do You Know Oyashiro song song in a bit. Oh my god, this is just so hard. I think it's just so hard, sad how many ambitions they had together. They probably would have, let's be honest, they probably would have developed this relationship further. They just sound so, um, so happy with each other, really. Oh it's cruel, it really is. He wouldn't have been in this hospital if it wasn't for her. Yeah, my god, but she just disappeared without apology. Yeah. It's that girl, that girl. But even introduced to and how, and yet, how could such a kind of a girl even considered hurting him? I don't know. How could I? Yeah, yeah. yeah they find it really interesting that this conversation is just, you know, it really has developed. Like, firstly, it was just, you know, being really quite sad about the loss and everything. But, yeah. Now it's. Talking now, Domoes sees their chance, so yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, she's actually realized that, you know, he has genuinely died. Oh, shit, yeah. Domoes lowered her face to Nagisa's height to look her in the eyes. Domoes told her? I'm genuinely surprised. But anyway, um, yeah, I gave her a gentle look to calm her down. Looking at that expression, Nagisa relaxed a little bit, a little of the anger and frustration welling up inside. Yeah, nice. She took a moment to widely think, then muttered quietly. Detective? What is it? Yeah, it could be likely. I can't imagine it's anything else. I'm actually surprised that she said that. I've... Yeah. I mean, even though high chance of suicide wouldn't be a nice thing to, you know, get on a person that loves this person, it's still better than thinking somebody actually did this. It wasn't just his own intuition. And the fact that, you know, his life being taken away wasn't his fault. Well, not really his fault, sorry, that sounds horrible. It wasn't something he did. It wasn't one of his deeds, you know. That's interesting, I didn't realise that um, Lena was the reason these people were introduced, like, um, you know, Nagisa and um, Salamina. I didn't realise that. Maybe it's just, you know, Nagisa being really quite caring because of the incident and, you know, really dealing with it well and then obviously them talking and boom, relationship starting there. Cause... Yeah, I think somebody killed him. <laughs> yeah, understandable. Oh, well, they had a slightly different tone than the angry sort of from a moment ago. Nobody would believe me. Yeah, yeah, I do. I really agree. It's just so odd. Yeah, and an accident is even less like. Yeah. It is pretty cool. To be honest, I really wish that we'd actually seen, like, before this, some sort of conversations with Core here to actually know, like, you know, his true sort of way he acts, how nice he is, potentially. He sounds like a really nice, and happy, easygoing guy, really. 
Yeah, nevertheless, everybody arbitrarily decided it was an accident or a suicide just because it was a guy so Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Oh, I think it's really good that Tomoe is actually doing this. Yeah. It's alright. Yeah, 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 because at the very least I agree with you. Yeah. Seriously? Mm, that's right. He said just now, a week before his death, um, Salamada kun said, um, he might be able to leave in a week depending on his diagnosis. Never was diagnosis, right? Nagisa deeply nodded. What Nagisa has said right there, completely straight away, the um, is the sensation that Tomoe was feeling. Hmm. Oh, God. Yeah. It's just you said when I I'm checked the calendar in the room. His schedule discharge day was written on the next month. It is unbelievable to think that this could have never happened if his discharge day was sooner. It really is. Yeah, that's the worst thing. Yeah, I think he was planning to tell you about it when he, you got here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, oh yeah, yeah, how much do you think about it? It's unnatural, yeah. Then, yeah, it's, it's true, yeah, yeah, and of course there's no chance it was an accident, yeah. Yeah, I agree, yeah. Yeah, that is weird. There's no reason for him to get close enough to the window to fool in the first place. And then at last night, that I um, spoke of him, said that nothing was unusual when his temperature was taken. Hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is a murder, no doubt about it. And Tomo stood up straight and glanced at her watch. She had, um, still had a little more time before the express train. Ozaki-san. Ozaki-san. Yeah, yeah, this may be painful to you, but I'd like your cooperation in order to find the truth. Do you have a little time after this? I'll promise. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love how much she's really, really making this promise clear. Alright. I really hope that, you know, she can stay strong. I mean, it must be so hard, this. So, the end oh that's actually gonna be really quite interesting i'm very grateful for this game for not leaving this on a cliffhanger yeah that's gonna be really quite cool um just seeing how this develops honestly i really wonder because yeah now the case has began it really has and um a <laughs> public holiday let me guess don't worry spending it investigating who is the first person we're gonna have some sort of dialogue from Come on! Come on! I don't care about your car sound effects! Ooh! You have got to be kidding me! She's Loki Nomiya! Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay! Well, it could potentially be Yoki Nomiya. I don't know. Oh god, I'm just too... Oh my god. 
Oh, yeah, we're going to be in for some interesting stuff. Yeah, so I feel that she's probably going to talk to Redena next. Redena, I said that with a pinch of salt because Redena, Redena, who the hell knows? I mean, I think it's going to be very unlikely in this world. I mean, it's literally impossible for Redena to come back to Hinamizawa and not have the name Nena. Apart from Psychodosy, obviously, but yeah, Psychodosy is Psychodosy. It's, like, not very possible <laughs> in, like, you know, the real world. But, um... Yeah, it's actually really quite interesting today. It was really quite cool seeing just how much of an influence, you know, like, really cool people like Honjo have had on um, Tomoe's, um, you know, background as a police officer. It was really fucking cool to see that. And I'll tell you what, um, yeah, it's just going to be really nice to see how this case is actually, you know, going to begin to be solved. I mean, it's, it's going to be really interesting to discover whether it was a suicide or a murder. And I wonder if it was a, a murder, then there are so many things. Like, you know it's a murder, and then... That doesn't set to it at all. Who? Why? What? When? How? Like, you can literally ask all of those questions. And, you know, you could be here for a very long time, let's just say that, just because you be, you need to learn so much. But, um, yeah, it's actually really quite cool today. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. Sorry, I didn't really have time to play much, but, yeah, see ya.